You're watching From the Heart with John Willard. Hi friends, John Willard here. I have another great show for everyone today. And if you haven't already subscribed to our CNA TV, please be so kind to hit the subscribe button down below. Mm -mm. Our journey is a process. Our journey shows us not only the world, but our purpose in it. Our journey is a discovery of our struggles, our beliefs, and our passions. Our journey brings us face to face with ourselves. It brings us together with our relationships. The past comes most colorfully alive when it's told through the memories of those who really lived it. Discover the peace you've been searching for and begin to understand and experience what true happiness really is. My hope is that by sharing with you, my fellow traveler, I will have enriched your journey. Enlarge my heart with a story and change me by the characters I meet there. The pups and I were up at 4 a.m. this morning after food for the pups, oatmeal and coffee for me, oh, we took in the sights and sounds of the Ozarks. A young accountant was offered some easy money, $50,000, to do some things with the figures for the books of a client. Things that made him uneasy what he was being asked to do wasn't clearly illegal, but it didn't seem quite ethical either. That night he talked the matter over with his mother and asked her what she thought. His mother paused for a moment and then said, You know, Tom, when I come to wake you up in the morning, I shake hard, and you don't stir. I shake you even harder, and you give me a little moan. <laughs> and finally, I shake you as hard as I can, and you open one sleepy eye. I'd hate to come in every morning and find you awake. <laughs> The young man turned down the job, and he's been sleeping soundly ever since. Your conscience is a little triangle in your heart. It acts like a pinwheel. When you're good, it does not rotate. When you're bad, it turns around and the corners hurt a lot. If you keep on being bad, the corners eventually wear off. And when the little triangle spins around it, it doesn't hurt anymore. Hear your inner voice. My mother always said, if you take a step and it feels good, you might be headed in the right direction. <laughs> when she wanted us to understand was that we needed to measure our progress against an inner compass. Using our feelings, our comfort level, and our knowledge of ourselves as the ultimate guide. I've spent most of my adult life trying to hear that inner voice. 
above the noise around me. It says softly that happiness is as simple as having something to look forward to in the morning, like early morning coffee with my wife. And each of us on the couch, the shades open enough to see the hummingbirds. Oh, having our dogs on the couch between us, Bubba and Cora May, shifting on our laps to get a better view. Mm -mm. This inner voice says in a low murmur that now is the time to enjoy. It doesn't get better than this. The last time you listened to your inner voice, what did it say? You can reach me on Twitter at John Willard 47. I'll see you next week, friends. Now it's feeding time for the pups, Bubba and Cora May. This is John Willard from the farm. <laughs>